Market rate flat, real estate auto down in trade while the bank X and FMCG takes a lead. Oil, also oil marketing companies move up post the recent petrol price hike. Even as Anil Ambani denies any ban on him or the group companies by SEBI, the Reliance Group stocks, that's the ADA Group stocks, take a hit in trade. All of them are down 3 to 5%. In other stocks and news, Glenmark tanks more than 5% after the company loses a trial over a hypertension drug in the U.S. courts. A lot of big earnings coming up today. TCS, LNT, Access Bank all to announce quarterly results. As per a Bloomberg UTV poll, TCS is likely to post a 3% gain in profits. LNT may get a strong boost from its order book and Access Bank may not see much margin erosion. The Environment Ministry is expected to pass the final order on the show cause notice to Lavasa today, while the Bombay High Court may also hear Lavasa's petition challenging the Ministry's notice. And the sale FPO may be delayed after the Steel Minister Vidharbha Singh hints at replacing bankers handling the issue. Meanwhile, sources say six bankers have been shortlisted for the ONGC issue. These are JM Financials, HSBC, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch and Namura. Morning, you're with Market Pulse. It's still that uneasy, quiet, eerie kind of calm before anything really begins to take shape in the market. We're completely flat on the benchmark indices. You have a bit of strength being exhibited by the FMCG and our IT counters. Real estate is slightly weak. Ashu. Good morning, Shubhi. Good morning to you. It's one of those days I almost prefer to talk about commodities. <laughs> MCX Copper is going fine. Uh, you know, is in better charts there than in the stock markets. But anyway, I mean, I've got a job to do. So, you know, uh, what I'll do right now is I'll not go through stocks which are gainers or losers today. I'll go through stocks which I know many of you have, uh, which got stuck to you somehow. Whether it was trading or in where, whatever idea was sold to you, it stuck with you. So now let's talk about those so that, you know, you need to decide whether you want to get out or stay there. Once again, whatever I'll say is about trading. This is not about investment. Sorry, sir, we had to come in away. Mike. I forgot. So if, if you're finding Ashu sound really funny, there's a reason behind it. We'll just get him mic'd up okay. in a second. Uh, as we do that, let's just quickly run you through what's happening on the Nifty 50 stocks, the index stocks first up. Uh, so there was a bit of a bounce back in the banks when we opened out trade and that seems to be continuing even now. So whether you look at HDFC, HDFC Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, many of these stocks are up about a percent, percent and a half or so. Uh, HDFC Bank up about half a percent. Uh, and then you have a couple of other majors like an ITC for instance. ITC is up nearly 2%, a little bit of a support for the market. Reliance Industries was quite negative at opening, now it's flat, so at least it's pared down its loss. So that's how it's uh, stacking up. On the downside of it, the entire ADA pack is extremely weak, still weak, 5% uh, five, five down on Reliance Infra, Reliance Power, uh, capital, Reliance Capital, etc. And some of the metals are a little jittery, Sterlite, Sesagoa, uh, Jindal Steel and Power, these are stocks on the downside.